morning. Lad, Hi. welcome to Jules. Thanks, how Good you to doing? see you. Let's talk about the lionfish. Uh, we've been diving a lot. We see them on the reef. They're a beautiful fish on the reef. Why do we have such a problem? Well, they really are beautiful fish, but they don't belong here. They're native to the Indo-Pacific area, and they have been introduced into these waters and they are now causing problems, and we consider that an invasive species. One of the biggest issues facing our society today is how to make strong connections. I mean, we're bombarded by, by internet and social media, and being able to, to make that connection and help understand what's really going on in the natural world is a big challenge. And I think initiatives like this, like Classroom Under the Sea, are really important because they capture people's fascination, and they help bring that education to the people that, that need it, but they do it in a way that captures their attention, and I think that's really important. It's not just the message, but it's also how you deliver it. The coolness factor is definitely there. That's definitely part of the reason we just wanted to do this, but I, I really think that the education, there's a, there's a great need for education for our middle schoolers, especially in science and marine biology, and so to be able to reach people in this kind of manner is something that hasn't been done, and I think that that's going to be really exciting, and we're going to see some really good results from this. Living underwater is not a natural habitat for people. So conquering the, that ability, that what it takes for, to do it, like you have to have an air source, you have to have surface support. It's a very important to people to be up here when we have people in the water to make sure that if there's some kind of connection that got kinked or the airflow stopped or whatever, to be able to come down and assist them. We're on a mission of education. Uh, we're on a mission of, uh, of duration that has never been, been done before and, and that's what I think excites both of us a little bit. What we're going to do has, particularly stay in 72 days, has never been done before by anyone that's ever lived on this planet. I think if maybe even a fourth of the students that watch us, or, or not even students, just people, if a fourth of them become interested in science, interested in conserving our marine ecosystems, then to me it's been a success. Marine Resource Development Foundation, uh, it's their vision uh, that makes this possible and then Rhone State Community College where we work uh, jumped on and got behind us 150 percent. It's very important to us that people understand that we are just stewards of the environment. We are not just consumers, you know, we have an effect on our environment the same way that a farmer has an effect on the fields that he plants and sows and harvests. Maybe some people will go on to be an astronaut, maybe some people will go on to be a marine biologist. It will spark, I'm hoping that it sparks the interest of our youth from all these lectures. Um, the inner strength that they both will have to accomplish this and I hope that reflects to our youth and other people, anybody of any age, um, what we're about, what we're made of, um, and keep exploring, just always to keep exploring.